Hey everybody, it's Alex and RJ here from Backyard Sprouts and we're going to show you how we are setting up at the farmer's market today. So you're going to see how we set the tent up, how we lay everything out, and a little bit of the behind the scenes down here in Noda. So we hope you enjoy it. So Alex is setting up one of our walls right now. It's the first time we got that wall. So this is our fourth farmer's market here and that sun, you'll see it beating off to my right, is very strong. So we decided to get a wall. And we'll see how it does, it looks pretty cool. Pretty easy to set up, it just clamps onto some of the, um, the little structure of the actual tent itself, so. All right guys, so you can see we have our main setup going here. One of the things we don't like to do is put our produce or our microgreens out too early because you can see the sun beats in pretty heavy in the morning, so we don't want it to roast. That is why you don't see anything set up, but we'll make sure to show that to you once we get it uh, ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we just finished setting up and yep. we're going to show you guys how we like to set up our stuff here. So, one of the things we used to watch in Curtis's videos was um, stuck it high and that's how sell you sell. High. Stack yep. them high, sell them high. Stack them high, sell them high and uh, it seems to be good. So, Audrey found these awesome crates. Where did you get these? Uh, Michael's. Yep, so these are from Michael's, super cheap. Then we have a bunch of our mixes. So we have radish on here, right? Add some nice color. We have our sunflower, spicy salad, and then some of, we have a spicy pea mix. We mix some of the micros and then a plain pea. So we put a little bit of all of our product out, layer it so people can see what's going on here. And then we'll use these crates to add some volume. We're actually thinking about getting another one to elevate it even more. And then we have, this iPad isn't currently on, but it's going to have pictures rotating from the chefs that make our or use our microgreens in their dishes. So it mm -hmm. kind of gives people idea of like how you can use them. And then this is a backyard sprout nutritional fact sheet. So it has some good information on microgreens. And when people come up, some people aren't familiar with them. So this kind of gives them an idea of why they're healthy. Business cards, which eventually we're going to be using to use a um, basically a frequent buyers club and give people discounts. We have our square space set up, right? So this is where people use their card to pay, attach our iPad. Uh, we had a good friend of RJ's make us this pretty board here that shows it's locally grown and where we're at. Sign up sheet, this is not usually your sign up sheet for <laughs> um, people put their names on if they want to join our home delivery program. And then our sign. And the newest addition I think RJ mentioned is our tent wall. Look at it, it's blocking everything, right? So what's crazy is before we got this wall, all of this would be in the sun, roasting. And if you put your hand on the table before this wall, you could like fry an egg, it was so hot, right? So we got the wall. Um, and Arjun and I sometimes have lettuce here and spinach and we'll have different produce items. So we actually don't this week, but in previous weeks we have had them. And with the sun beating down, it just makes the product wilt way too fast. Especially here in North Carolina where it's been like, high 90s already. It feels beautiful today, but it's definitely gonna be a game changer for us. And one thing we did want to mention, if you've been following our Instagram, you'll see that we don't stack them too high, how Curtis says it, because we don't want to lay all our product out right now because um, they, we don't want them to wilt. We want them to stay in a cooler. So these are our display items. And then all of our main products are back there in our coolers. So uh, normally when people grab them, we just refill them and go from there. Alright you guys, so we're just kind of chilling. The farmer's market just opened up. 
and if you notice I'm on a very comfy chair but Alex's chair looks very similar <laughs> <laughs> love this chair so it's funny is um, I got this chair off of Academy Sports which is very off the whim kind of thing um, I sat down on it I was shopping for something else and I was like this is a very comfy chair so I've had it since and Alex have ha has had this um, not so nice foldable chair and <laughs> she she sat down on mine she's like my chair is trash <laughs> So the following week, she went ahead and bought herself the same exact one. Guys, worth the investment. <laughs> worth it. She I'm not herself. kidding. I sat in my other chair. I had my chair, and then I sat in RJ's, and I was like, oh my god. It's so comfortable. I'm not kidding. If you're anyone who ever uses lawn chairs, it, you can't beat it. And it's so easy to set up. So easy. It, it's good quality. It's got a locking mechanism to it, yep. so it doesn't accidentally... Um, unfold on you when you're carrying it. And it's it, higher off the ground so you're not like squatting down when you mm -hmm. sit, which is super nice. <laughs> so It's great. So Alex got herself the same chair. <laughs> Luckily if you know uh, people uh, yeah, people that know me, I don't like having the same something of something <laughs> else, but she did get a different color, which is clutch. So I got myself uh, like a dark I don't know, like a dark gray? Yeah, it's dark say? grayish too. It's like dark grayish, bluish and Alex got herself a Teal. aqua teal yep. color which is very cool so lawn chairs all right you guys so we just are closing up shop now it is about 12 o'clock and Alex is going getting her car but we pretty much sold out today so it was a really good day um, so now we're just gonna tear everything down I don't think you guys really need to see that because you guys saw how we put everything up so we pretty much packed the table then we close the tent down but other than that that's pretty much it Alex you have any final words I just told him we had a pretty good day sold yeah, out it's good it's you know RJ and I have a learning experience every time we're here right seeing what people like what their preferences are and, and the other vendors have been just you know absolutely tremendous in giving us information so we're pretty grateful to that yep and i told them that they don't we don't need to film us taking stuff down they saw us how we put it, everything <laughs> up so pretty much we're going to take the tables down yep. then we're going to take the tent back down and we'd pretty much call it a day so I hope you guys found that video useful we didn't really close it the way we wanted to um I felt i'm not gonna lie i felt a little weird with all the vendors kind of staring at us as I hold this big ass Canon SL2 camera in front of me while Alex and I talk. I guess it's one of those things as a YouTuber you're gonna to start to get a little more comfortable when we're speaking in front of our confines of our own home. We can sit here and be as enthusiastic as possible, which we're supposed to be, but when you're out there in the public, it's a little weird. But hope you guys found that video super useful. Um, what we ended up doing was we just showed you guys what our setup look like and how we set it up so we get there pretty early um, as you saw we're one of the few um, let my dog in here look at her go <laughs> um, normally we'll set up our tent first and that's the one that takes about you know I'm we're starting to get pretty good at it uh, we can now do it down to one person um, but at first, it was very difficult for me. I didn't know how to set up the tent by myself. I was like pulling one side and it was dragging along the rocks and it was just very, very pita. But um, yeah, so, you know, if you guys are looking and curious as to how farmer's markets get set up or if you're possibly looking into joining one. Normally you guys are on the consumer end of that, right? You just go into the farmer's market and everything is all set up beautifully ready for you guys to go and pick out your yummy fruits and vegetables and cheeses and meats. Um, but what you guys normally don't get to see is all the back end stuff and hopefully that clarified some of it. Um, we get there early, we unload our cars, we set up the tent, we set up the table. As you know, Curtis does say, stack them high, sell them high, which is an awesome motto. Um, but Alex and I are still trying to find that perfect medium between stacking them and wasting product and letting them sit out in the heat, right? Because we don't want them to wilt, so we try to keep as much of the product inside the cooler as we can, uh, therefore keeping it as fresh as possible. So we have a, f a bunch of products outside on display for people um, and then whatever they want we just grab from the cooler. Um, we didn't show you guys the tear down anymore because um, it was getting hot. 
to be honest. And I don't think you guys needed to see it, right? It was just the reverse order of what we had. So we packed everything into the coolers, which we actually sold out, which was an awesome day. So we just packed everything else, uh, put everything into the bins, um, folded the tables, folded the tablecloth, tore down the tent. If you guys have any questions, you know, you know the deal, post them in the comment section below. As always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds, so we would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure, and we will see you guys next time.